so guys welcome to my youtube channel if today is your first time of coming across this channel please subscribe like and don't forget to on the notification bell so when i start post the video you'll be the first person to see it so guys in today's video we are not cooking so i'm going to teach you how i make this my beautiful bread wig so guys if you are interested stay tuned just keep watching because i'm going to show you how i make this wig from scratch you can see how beautiful the wig is so guys you can do it yourself so stay tuned guys this is all what you're going to be needed to make this wig you need a dummy head and your wig cap and pin wig pin to make it thin and easy for you to work with so this is it guys just hook it up so that it won't remove then you need a crochet needle which is the big one and this small one but unfortunately here i'm using the small one it's very very stressful for me because i order everything online so this is what they bring for me and you need scissors to make your work neat i'm using color 27 and color 99 so i'm using the two color for this braid wig so you just need to push the crochet needle inside then close it then drag the attach outside then you put another one start braiding it so that is it guys so I'll braid this one you repeat the same thing you can see because the needle is small so it's somehow stressful for me so when you get get a big crochet needle you can see how i do it so because i'm using two color i'm missing the color you can see so that is how you're going to do it repeat it it depends on how you want your wig to be full if you don't want it to be too heavy you need to give space so that it won't be too full so this is it guys keep washing so the first step is done you can see it so you can see the way i'm doing it just for you to see it very well this time around you see because this crochet needle is very small it's not the big one this is the kind of one i supposed to use for the front but I'm using it for everything because this is what they bring for me so you just need to be very very careful and patient with it did you see it so this is how you're going to do it so guys you can see how I'm doing it I just want everything to come out neat so this is it guys you just have it in mind you need to be patient and you know if you did not get it the first time you just need to remove the hair again and redo it again so before you redo it two to three times you are going to get it right that is it so don't give up just keep doing it if this is your first time of doing wig so don't give up you're going to do it just follow this process it's easy it's not hard it's not what you cannot do so trust me so guys please if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe invite your friends or family share me to any of your social platform please guys so guys you can see i'm doing it you can see and please just get a big crochet needle it will make the work easy for you and that is it get your scissors close to you when you finish braiding the wig then you trim it you make it look neat look neat so this wig is so good 
if we see the um, outcome of this week just wait keep washing so don't rush this is how I make this week easy and not easy so guys keep washing So here what I'm doing is when you see there is one maybe in the middle is very very small you can take from the side maybe the left or the right you can just add a little bit to it so if it's your first time of making wig you don't need to have problem with that so you just need to add a little bit to that one in the middle so that you will be able to plate them very well. So this is how you're going to repeat everything till you get to the front. It depends on how you want your wig. You want it scanting, you make it scanting. You want it very full, you make it very full. But sometimes it's advisable not to make it too full so that it won't be too heavy. It will be very easy for you to wear. So this is what I'm doing, just trimming the wig, the braid to make it look neat and for me not to come back after I make everything start trimming it because I know some of the braid will escape and I will not see them so and I don't like that so just trim them one by one as you're braiding it just trim so this is it you're just going to do everything braid them braid the back and we move to the front so see you guys So here we have, I've worked on the back, you can see it, I've worked on the back, this is it. So now we want to fill the front, let's fill the front, I, I, because I don't want the wig to be too heavy, so you can see some space, but when I'm done with the front, you will see everything will be covered up, everything will be covered up. If you want it more longer than this, you can double the attach. So this is the size I want if you want it more longer and for my expression is stretched already. So this is it. You need to be very careful with this front and I'm still using the same crochet needle because I have the small one not the big one. So this is it guys. You just need to be careful. So guys this is what I'm doing here just to braid the front. Braid them close to each other very very close because this is the one you're using to cover everything so we just need to braid them very very close to each other a little 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 bits so you can see just braid them around this is what I'm doing here so make sure you put all your effort here to make this very clean because this is the front this is the one that is going to cover all the one you braid in the back so this is it you can see I'm trying to make it very very neat and be careful if you are working on this front you don't want to drag it too much because of the net so that it won't pull out so be careful so guys this is it as usual you trim so here we are you need your concealer pencil just to make a straight line you can see I told you you just need to braid everything close to each other so that it will give you that beautiful front just put concealer on a straight line 
that is where we are going to put our part which we are not going to make any attempt to braid on it you can see it so this is it guys so now this is the place we are going to braid and not on this line I rule out for you to make it look beautiful and you want a straight line you can see now we are done guys so that is it here I have my hot water I'm putting the air in hot water for it to make it very straight so guys thank you for watching thank you for always coming back you can see how simple it is then you just put your hair cream so just dry it with your towel you're good to go look at the wig how beautiful it is it's not too heavy you can see my wig is ready to wear you can see it on my head look at it you just take a look at that look at the back you can see there's no any space again everything is covered up and beautiful and so light on my head not heavy you can see the line so everything is just beautiful and okay this is how i want it so guys thank you for always coming back i love you